Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about role-play games and today we're going to be playing Undertale. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we, you know, we went through the Hotlands and d d did a couple of puzzles. We didn't do too much in the last episode, but we still went a good distance. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on through the Hotlands, try to get closer to the core, and with that, get closer to the castle. Oh. Oh my god, don't they get it wrong Yumi with the entire character rock? So if you don't remember last time, uh, Alfie's was complaining that people think that uh, Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1. Uh, where are all these tables coming from? Maybe they belong to the mouse. What would a mouse need a table for? To put the cheese on. But where's the cheese come from? Doesn't it come from milk? Oh my god, get out of here. Wait, does it come from milk? My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. Hey, you, stop! We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us they were wandering around Hotland right now. I know, sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing? Like, what about it? Bro, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is, like, mega embarrassing. We, like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. These are the Royal Guards. So for these guys, what you want to go ahead and do is you want to start off with Royal Guard 2. You want to clean his armor. You clean our Royal Guard 2's armor. It, it's cooling dirt begins to wash away. Like team attack. Getting warmer. Oh. You just want to do this where you stay in the green part. Can't take it. Armor too hot. Much better. Royal Guard 01 looks bothered by something. Whisper. Tell Royal Guard 01 to be honest with his feelings. I, I. Who? Oh. Now you just want to dodge this attack and make sure you don't die like I probably will? Okay. D -d Dude, I can't. I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, oh, too. I like. I like. Like you, bro. The way you fight. The way you talk. I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you. Bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. Oh, too. I like. Want to stay like this forever. Uh. I mean, uh. Whew, bro, that human put me under a uh, mind control. What was I just saying? It's all a blur, dude. Whoops. Oh, one. Y yeah, bro. Do you want to get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude. <laughs> Aww. Okay, did I... Careful, the Royal Guard patrols that area. I think it's Royal Guard 01 and Royal Guard 02 today. It's funny, the bunny actually requested to be with the dragon guy. It's nice when people are platonic friends like that. It's nice when people are platonic friends like that. Sure. Oops, wait, how's the human doing? Top 10 shows that make you forget to do your freaking job. Okay, I'm back. Another dark room, huh? Don't worry. My hacking skills have got things covered. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton reporting live from MTT News. An interesting situation has arisen in Eastern Hotland. 
Fortunately, our correspondent is out there reporting live. Brave correspondent, please find something newsworthy to report. Our ten wonderful viewers are waiting for you. We have a few things to report on. Basketball's a blast, isn't it, darling? Too bad you can't play with these balls. They're MTT brand fashion basketballs for wearing, not playing. You can't get rich and famous with, like moi without beautifying a few orbs. Report this one. Let's look some more. Glass of water. Oh my! It's a completely nondescript glass of water. But anything can make a great story with enough spin. Report this one. Oh no, that movie script. How did that get there? It's a super juicy sneak preview of my latest guaranteed not a bomb film. Metaton the Movie 28, starring Metaton. I've heard that, like the other films, it consists mostly of a single four hour shot of rose petals showering on my reclining body. Ooh, but that's not confirmed. You wouldn't <coughs> spoil my movie for everyone with a promotional story, would you? Report this one. Let's look some more. Whew, that was close. You almost gave me a bunch of free advertisement. What a sensational opportunity for a story. I can see the headline now. A dog exists somewhere. Frankly, I'm blown away. Report this one. Let's look some more. Also, a thing I forgot to mention is that uh, I'd suggest going back in the video and after this is done and watching the little headlines down in the bottom of the screen because they're hilarious. Oh my, it's a present, and it's addressed to you, darling. Aren't you just bursting with excitement? What could be inside? Well, no time like the present to find out. Report this one. Let's look some more. And this should look familiar. Ooh la la, this video game you found is dynamite. Though I don't make an appearance in it until three-fourths in. But I like that, appearing from the heavens like mana, slaking the audience's hunger for gorgeous robots. Ooh, that's Metaton. Report this one. So, not only is this a funny reference, but we also know that we are now three-fourths into the game. Uh, I think if you choose this one. This dog still exists. This story just keeps getting better and better. Report this one. I think there's extra dialogue if you examine the other stuff, but I don't know. Attention viewers, our correspondent has found a dog. Aww. That's right, folks. It's a feel-good story of the year. Look at its little ears, tiny paws, fluffy tail. Wait a second. That's not a tail. That's a fuse. That's right, that dog is a bomb. But don't panic. You haven't even seen the rest of the room yet. Oh my, it seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. That present's a bomb. That basketball's a bomb. Even my words are. Brave correspondent, if you don't defuse all of the bomb, then this big bomb will blow you to smithereens in two minutes. Then you won't be reporting live any longer. How terrible. How disturbing. Our nine viewers are going to love watching this. He went down from ten to nine. Good luck, darling. Don't worry. I installed a bomb defusing program on your phone. Use the defuse option when the bomb is in the defuse zone. Now, go get him. The first one, this dog one. We want to act, and then defuse the bomb when it's in the defuse zone, just like she said. Great job. Keep heading around the room. Try to go for the one in the bottom left next. Uh, I'll be going in a bit of a different order. I didn't get that glass of water bomb, but you know what? Hey, I got that pretty quickly. Gonna wait for the glass of water. Okay, there we go. Extremely agile glass of water. All right, now we're gonna head down. I just want to grab a few things first. Oh. Now we have Undertale.
Alrighty, now we have the script to Metaton 28. Just gotta be very careful when going down there. There we go. And I think we only have... Great job! There's only one left at the top right. Okay, so that confirms it. Go right up here, we have the present bomb. And we just gotta wait. 22 seconds left on the clock, that's not bad. Well done, darling. You deactivated all of the bombs. If you didn't deactivate them, the big bomb would have exploded in two minutes. Now it won't explode in two minutes. Instead, it'll explode in two seconds. Goodbye, darling. Ah, it seems the bomb isn't going off. That's b because while you were monologuing, I, I f fixed, um, I changed. Oh no, you deactivated the bomb with your hacking skills. Yeah, that's what I did. Curses, it seems I've been foiled again. Curse you, human. Curse you, Dr. Alphys, for helping so much. But I don't curse my eight wonderful viewers for tuning in. Until next time, darlings. Wow, we really showed him, huh? Showed him and all eight of his viewers. Hey, I know that was kind of I was kind of weird at first, but I really think I'm getting more uh more more confident about guiding you. So don't worry about that big big dumb robot. I'll protect you from him. And if it really came down to it, we could just turn um never mind. Later. Hmm. Quite weird the way she's acting. I don't know. Let's continue on. Do Papyrus and Undyne have anything? Yeah, you totally kicked his butt on the news. And I bet Alphys was helping you, wasn't she? Oh my god, you guys becoming friends? It's kinda cute. I mean, I, I'm tough. I love to eat rocks. What? All of the characters in this game are great. Get another epic view of the core. Um, I, I notice you've been kind of quiet. Are you worried about meeting Asgore? Well, don't worry, okay? The king is a really nice guy. I'm sure you can talk to him, and with your human soul, you can pass through the barrier. So no worrying, okay? Just forget about it and smile. The core, you're getting close, huh? What? No, we just became friends. You can't already be that close. What? So yeah, we're getting very close to the ending of our journey. Please select a location. Left floor three. Getting more metallic as we continue upwards. Maybe we need to think more abstractly. Maybe the L stands for love. But isn't love supposed to be fiery red? Like a cartoony human heart? But Undyne, don't you turn people's hearts green? You make it sound like I give people nausea. Well, it would be an affectionate nausea. Okay, yeah, that's me. It's decided L stands for a heart that Undyne has made nauseous. Now, this is a, a new area that uh, we'll probably end off the video in, in a little bit. Uh, I just thought of something. It'd be funny, you know those videos that, that's like the alphabet with insert character or franchise or something like that? Could someone do one for Undertale and have it be like... L is for... And it's like a heart that Undyne has made nauseous or something like that. Welcome to our parlor, dearie. Interested in some spider pastries? I'll proceed to go to real spiders. So this is the, you know, base of operations for that uh, spider bake sale that we saw all the way back in the ruins and we've been seeing a couple of times throughout our adventure. It looks like some sort of powerful bracelet. Wait, it's just a croissant. That This is actually a reference to The Legend of Zelda, where in the first game, the bracelet looks exactly like that. It looks like a weird croissant. Spider bake sale, all proceeds go to real spiders. So now, let me talk to this guy first. 
I, I, I ended up buying a donut. I, I, I didn't want to. That, that, that girl, even though I told her no, she kept staring at me in this creepy way and licking her lips. Now I'm out of cash. So she's charging a lot for her different pastries. Thankfully, we got one for a very low, like 7G, I believe it was. We're going to go ahead and take it out first. Let me put the old tutu away. Spider donut. I've got that in my inventory, right? Yep. Okay, we're going to need that in a little bit. Hi, Alfie here. This room is like the room we saw before. There are two puzzles to the north and the south. We'll have to solve them both to proceed. Also, I'd like to say, I don't really like giving away puzzle solutions, but if you need help, just call me, okay? Actually, wait, I have an idea. Let's be friends on Undernet. Then you can just ping me when you need help. Wait, we're only friends, aren't we? I sent you up, didn't I? You've been reading my post this whole time. Well, I hope you agree with me about Mew Mew too. He's, she's quite the character. I'm sorry if these videos come become mostly, uh, I'm sorry if these videos become mostly me just reading through the dialogue and stuff like that, but for those who are experiencing this for the first time, I want to give them, you know, an experience and then occasionally chime in with something like interesting fun facts and stuff like that. It might sound weird that spiders need donations, but think about it. They have eight feet. That's four pairs of shoes. A spider wearing four pairs of pink booties. Meditate on this image. Um, what? What? A whole room covered in vents? Oh no! Hey, did I ever tell you about my puzzle idea? It's a maze full of steam vents, but the steam vents are on conveyor belts and- Oh my god, I hate this! That's a great running gag that a lot of people playing through this game might not even run into. Because you don't really get anything for calling in each and every room, but, you know, you get great dialogue. Whoop. Okay, Sundare Plane and Vulcan. Sundare Plane attacks, not because it's jealous Vulcan is paying attention to you. Uh, let's do Sundare Plane first, because I could do that in one turn. Alrighty. I like how soon the airplane just goes off into the corner. Vulcan reassures you that the plane turning tiny is like completely intentional. Encourage. And we should be done with the battle in just a second. Oh, I'm very low on HP. Okay, I'm going to heal in just a second. Actually, I'll go ahead and heal now. Also, the bicycle turns into a unicycle. Hey, just me from the future coming in, just so I don't waste your time. I guess I wrote down something in my notes wrong because I got stuck on this puzzle. Because I was trying to go along with my notes and then just completely failed at that. So the real solution is right, up, right, down, 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 left, left, up, down, right, left, up, up, right, down, Right up right, down down, left down, up right. Credit to Nightcus. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, his video will be on screen. And yeah. Right there. Okay. Nice. So we got that one. Now I'm wondering if I wrote stuff down in my notes wrong because... I thought I copied it down right, but maybe I put down the instructions for the wrong puzzle because there's another puzzle down here. Lasers on conveyors, are you serious? Hey, this reminds me of a puzzle idea. <laughs> oh my god, no, why? I thought you hated making up puzzles. Yeah, but I love driving you crazy. Please stop encouraging her. <laughs> Honestly, that's one of my ah, that's one of my favorite bits in the game. So this is cool. You have to move against the conveyor belt because you're technically moving if you're standing still on the conveyor belt. 
Hey, this um doesn't have anything to do with guiding you, but uh, uh, hey, would you want to watch a human TV show together sometime? It's called um Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Sure, I'm not sure if Mew Mew Kissy Cutie is a movie, a video game, or a TV show. Really, it's so good. It's um my favorite show. It's all about this human girl named Mew Mew who has. Two cats you don't have the knowledge about them, and eventually she rises. Right, their ears don't matter that her friends like her to fight the ears. It's really moving. Whoops, spoilers. Also, this sounds weird, but she has the power to control the mind of anyone she kisses. She kisses people and controls them to fix their problems. They don't remember anything after the kiss, I mean. But if she misses the kiss, then, then, uh, and, uh, also, I mean, of course, eventually she realizes that controlling people. Okay, well, I almost spoiled the entire show, but, uh, I think you'd really like it. We should watch it after you get through all this. Hey, same thing happened with this puzzle, wrote stuff down wrong in my notes. The real solution is left, 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 up, left, left, right. Uh, thank you to Little Grey Cat walkthrough I used to solve this puzzle. There we go, okay. Sorry, that took me a little bit. I don't know how I messed up the instructions that I put in my notes so badly, but, you know... You stop to smell the flowers. Okay, that's a nice bit of dialogue. And now we should be good in terms of moving forward. And I wonder if there's a save point right here because this would be a good spot to end off the episode. Alrighty. In the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and uh, well, first, thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on because there's an interesting boss fight that I want to get to. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!